In this problem, we're told a potter's wheel moves uniformly from rest to an angular velocity of one revolution per second in 30 seconds. Find A, its angular acceleration in radians per second, per second, and B, would doubling the angular acceleration during the given period have doubled the final angular velocity? So what we have here is this potter's wheel, right? And we know it's going to be rotating, or it starts at rest, right? So it's going to start at rest, right? So its initial angular velocity is zero, and then it's going to rotate all the way up to one revolution per second, right? So it goes from zero to one revolution per second, and it's going to take 30 seconds for this to happen, right? So we know it's going to be accelerating, so its angular acceleration is going to accelerate it up to this, right? So how do we want to solve this for this? So the way we're going to solve it is by using uh, basically rotational kinematic equations, which are basically just the normal kinematic equations with rotational variables, right? So basically, think about this as v sub zero, this is v, this is t, and then this is just a, right? So they just correlate to them. And so essentially, right, you need to know, uh, right, so omega, which is angular velocity, t is just time, and then this is alpha, right, which we call angular acceleration. So which kinematic equation do we want to use? So the equation we're going to use is basically v equals v sub zero plus a times t, but we're using it for kinematics. So all you do is replace the kinematic variable with uh, its corresponding one, right? So omega, right, which is its angular velocity, is just its velocity here. So it would just be omega equals omega zero plus acceleration is the same as alpha, right? Angular acceleration. So alpha and then time stays the same. So this is the equation we're going to use to solve for alpha, right? Because we know omega, right? We know omega zero, we know t. So we can solve for alpha, right? But keep in mind when we do this, your omega or angular velocity has to be in radians per second. It can be revolutions. So we have to convert this first. So one revolution per second, we know that there are two pi radians, right? Two pi radians is the same as one revolution. So just multiply by two pi, right? One times two pi is just two pi. So it's going to be two pi radians per second. That's going to be, right? Two pi radians per second, that's going to be omega now. So keep that in mind when we solve. So now we just need to plug in. So omega, right? Final angular uh, velocity is two pi, and then it's going to be equal to omega zero, which is zero, right? So basically zero plus anything is this thing. So we don't need to write it plus alpha, right? And then multiply it by T. So T is 30 seconds. So we divide both sides by 30. 2 pi divided by 30, right? If you go ahead and do that, you'll get 0.29 or 209, 4, and so on. I'm just going to round to 0.21. So 0.21, this is alpha, and then the units are radians, and then it's per second squared. Just like, imagine this is meters per second, just like velocity, and then acceleration is meters per second squared. This is radians per second squared. So this is going to be your answer to A. So A is 0.21 radians per second squared. Now let's go ahead and do B. So B is just more of a thought experiment with doubling the angular acceleration during the given period have doubled the final angular velocity. So if you look at this equation right here, right, what we know is omega equals omega zero plus alpha times t. Keep in mind this is zero though. So really just omega final, right, omega is just omega final, is equal to alpha times t. And so what they're saying is we're going to double the angular acceleration. So we just multiply this by two, right? So if we just multiply this side by two, right, it's just going to become two times alpha times t, right? Because you can basically just factor out the two because they're all multiplying by each other. And what does this equal, right? This is omega final, right? Omega final equals this, and it's just two times this. So it's really two times omega final is equal to two times alpha times t, right? And that's exactly what it's asking. With doubling this angular acceleration, which we did here, double this, yeah, it does, right? Because of this right here, right? So essentially the answer to b is yes, and I just explained why, right? Because if you multiply this by two, this side gets multiplied by two, right? So your answer to B is yes. Your answer to A was 0.21 radians per second. And yeah, so those are your answers. And hopefully you found this useful.